Oh, Sidewinder. <laughs> yeah. The infrared sensors suck at picking up snake movement. How long has it been since you went 24 hours without thinking about snakes? This is every moment of our waking lives. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? I am doing something a little bit different. Remember how I went on that one, one call where I released a Sidewinder and there was all that sand with all those awesome tracks and everything? Well, I wanna try something kind of different and I don't know if it's gonna work. Marissa, Bryce, and I are gonna go out there tonight and we're going to see how many snakes we can find. And not only are we gonna do that, but we're also going to see if we could put trail cams on those snakes from a distance hopefully not freak them out or scare them or anything put trail cams on there and see if we can get the moment when maybe it grabs a mouse or something like that strikes at a mouse or whatever that'd be really cool now it's kind of a, a kind of a shot in the dark but i have all of these cameras here i got all of these right here got a couple got a bunch of batteries i got a bunch of tripods and stuff so real quick i'm going to get all these set up we're going to be leaving in a couple hours and uh we're going to see how many snakes we can find sidewinders diamondbacks mojaves whatever and hopefully we get some action okay now that they've got fresh batteries and tripods on them the the trick is with snakes is that since they are cold-blooded the thermal detectors on most of these cameras actually don't pick up reptiles very well and so what we're relying on is getting far enough away to where if a mouse is approaching the snake or getting within strike range that it will actually pick up the mouse rather than the snake itself so it'll be interesting to kind of see the other information that we might get is that where you know what time do the snakes go to bed for the evening when do they stop and uh, uh i don't know gonna get to it All right, we're here. Well, we're waiting for Bryce. He's coming. I don't... We're looking for winders. Looking for winders. Yes. What's up, dude? Yes. We see some tracks. I'm trying not to look because I want to find them together. Are you see some winders? I am. I'm excited. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess the name of the game is I got all these cameras in my backpack. So what we do is if we see something, we'll just try not to scare it. And then uh, we'll set up a camera on it. And then tomorrow morning, I'll see if it caught a snake catching something like that plan that would be so that would be that would be so cool That'd be sweet. rice got a long nose i still don't see oh there he is he's cruising over there oh dang <laughs> nice spot <laughs> bryce got a long nose here we go first nice. snake of the night oh dang you got a long pole there heck yeah <laughs> that's a cool one he needs a cheeseburger, I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A cheeseburger, fries, and some milk. <laughs> I know. We all do. <laughs> Let him poop on you first, you know? He can do that or rub some of the blood on me <laughs> if he wants. I mean, I am a big nasty predator yes. at this point, so that I would is... understand. Yeah, you're nasty. That is true. <laughs> I'm nasty. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, I smell some stuff. That was magnificent. <laughs> That's gonna last for three to five business days. <laughs> yeah, that's stinky. I got some wipes in the car, but not right now, right okay. here. <laughs> oh, Sidewinder. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. So this whole time, we're standing here looking at a, at a long nose and Marissa turns around. Like, Winder! Oh, that's cool, Tom. Oh, he came out there. of that hole, it looks like. Oh yeah, it did. That's cool. That means he's okay. gonna be hunting tonight and we're gonna get him on camera. Dude, that would be so awesome. All right. Heck yeah. Jeff's gonna get his, he's got like 20 trail cams. Yeah, let, I mean, yeah. I don't even know how you fit look them at, Look at all this. Yeah, that's It's, it's nonsense, like the whole bag <laughs> is full it's ridiculous. The thing that I'm worried about is like, and anybody that works with trail cams, it's so easy to screw up your settings and just have like have a perfect setup and then it you it just doesn't go off or something oh so, really sure. yeah so never... the thing about it is that the infrared sensors suck at picking up snake movement so but they can do rodents okay so i just need oh. it to be wide enough mm -hmm. that it'll pick up the rodent coming okay so i hope this works I do too. I'm so excited. Okay, and then I'm going to mark on the GPS where this is, or else I am going to have a hell of a morning tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, At least this one's kind of out in the call. open. All right. One side wander down. Life in the desert ain't always pretty. Uh, if you have a <laughs> I got another winder. 
All right, Jeff has another winder up on the hillside. Is he out and moving? He's coiled up on the, oh, nice. just on the flat. <laughs> right Good job. And I just heard from Jeff and Marissa. We have sidewinder number two up here. I'm trying, where do you think I should put the camera? Behind him or try yeah. to get it in front of him? I would say over by this log. Facing him? Or yeah, yeah, facing him. So like in front of him, facing or, towards him? Or I guess you could put it over by the shells and go this way. Hi. Okay. All right, winder two. Good job, Jeff. Very nice. Yeah, I might have a good night. Yeah, it two. Is. Right out, like... Yeah. Right off the bat. Hey, I got a, I got a Mojave. Woo! Mojave. All right, back up the hill because Jeff has a Mojave. Cool, Who's Mojave. No <laughs> Good job. Hey there, friendo. I hear talks of a Mojave. That's a new species for the night. Looping around to you right now. Are we gonna put one up in front of him too? Oh, heck yeah. Super He's, cool. Oh, look, look at this though. He's got, he picked oh, the, the perfect little highway. Yeah, that's sweet. Look at that. It's got the rodent trail right in front of yeah. it and it's like, it knows what it's doing. So that's a little rodent highway leading to a Mojave's mouth. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like, hey, come on home. <laughs> So I'm wondering if I need to be on the other side of it. If I'm this thinking, highway's right here. Exactly. I'm thinking like over here. Mm-hmm. Go away slowly back away. Jeff's doing push-ups. <laughs> Maybe. Alright Jeff, you found enough rattlesnakes. You can leave the rest for us. So I came to check on this uh, pack rat nest here, figuring something might have come out and uh, set up to ambush for the night. And I did find that something likely came out of this, but unfortunately, I was beaten to the punch by a, uh, another critter, it seems. That right there is gonna be a uh, skeleton from some sort of snake. It'd be hard to say what at this point, but here's to hoping we can find one that's in a little bit better condition. How long has it been since you went 24 hours without thinking about snakes? Oh. How how long? 24 hours, full day. Years. How I many years do you think? Well, ever since I started this job, for sure. I, I, I mean, yeah, that. because you're you have so to. So before that, there was probably times before that I didn't think about snakes. For so. a four, full 24 hours, though. It's a long time. I don't think I have that in me, really. Yeah, I, I know for me, it's been probably at least 10 years okay. since there's been a full 24 hours. 2010 is really when I started to really get into snakes. So, what is that, 14 years ago? Yeah, yeah. Somewhere before that. You know, I saw my first rattlesnakes at 10, and I think ever since then, it's just been snakes on your mind. constant. Sure. Like, uh, yeah. Thinking about snakes. It kind of drives home, like, if people, like, talk about that we don't know what we're doing or we don't know what we're talking about, like, this is every moment of our waking lives. <laughs> like, I was really excited to get out here tonight, and I've been... We have people that are happy to get up I know. at 3 I've been a.m. for a snake call, so... I know. Like, I, I have been talking about rattlesnakes with people since I woke up. And now it's 11, probably won't be home till after midnight, and we gotta wake up at five and do it all again. Yeah, oh, it's a winder on the move. I like that. There you go. I got there a winder go. here. It's more for pictures and stuff. Yeah. Hey there, winder. I, I might bust my camera out for you. A good for a picture. How old do you think that snake is do you think realistically because i mean obviously you can't tell by the rattle buttons but that you know that i was i was gonna guess like realistically 15, 14. 15 to 20 would be yeah. my guess yeah yeah well it was 
We could have found more snakes, probably, but you know, we found it was good. More, but it honestly, was good. for a full moon night with the conditions as they are, I'm, I'm happy with how we did. It was a good night, though. Had I think guys. so. Happy to get out with you guys. Let's it's funny it. how things like this work because you know I've known Jeff online for probably close to seven years now, just through the community that yeah. we're involved in, and I've known Marissa here for about the same amount of time, and this is Jeff and I's first time out together, yeah. <laughs> and Marissa and I have probably only been out like once or twice so right it really goes to show just how independently this hobby is run and how independently our jobs work here. <laughs> i know and i have to wake up in the morning to come get this cameras yeah camera. that does suck you have to come over here <laughs> but if we get some good footage that'd be cool no i'm excited and all the snakes seem to be still sitting there on our way back so we have some possibilities hopefully some good stuff howdy do my wonderful people Sorry. I am headed out to the spot that we were at last night to go grab the cameras and see if we got anything. I'm getting out there a little bit later than I would have liked. Or hopefully no one took the camera. I mean, it's, I kind of doubt someone will, but I know that there's shenanigans that goes on out in the desert. So hopefully we get something and hopefully we get some action on the camera. So out of these rattlesnakes that we put cameras on, you know, who knows if the right opportunity presented itself for them, like a mouse or something like that, uh, to to go after. Let's go. Uh, let's go check it out. All right. Out in the heat. Gonna run out here as fast as I can and grab these cameras. Hopefully, there's something on them. Ready? Right. Here's the first camera. Okay, so I'm about to plug in these cameras. Let's go with one of those sidewinders. I don't know which one this one is, but let's figure it out. Let's find out what's going on. There is one file, which means that it's probably when I set up, it's probably when I set up the camera. Yes, nothing else. This That was Marissa's sidewinder. Didn't see anything. And it looks like it didn't pick it up leaving either. So, bummer. Sidewinder number two. I think this is going to be the sidewinder I found. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 Survey says ground school ran by it. <laughs> Nothing else by means of rattlesnake activity at all. So I have it set up. It looks like it's framed nice. And then nothing. Over two. Let's go with the Mojave rattlesnake. Survey says a couple files, all in the daytime though. It looks like the wind blew it over. Nothing, nothing at all. <sighs> oh, for three. That's what this whole process is about, is learning it. And a lot of tries, a lot of friggin' tries. The Sidewinder that Bryce found looks like two files. Didn't even capture the snakes, moving or anything, so. Well, it looks like it didn't work this time. 